Yo guys, in this video I will show you how I shoot rollers using the Osmo Pocket 3 from DJI. So yeah, there are a few things you will need. First thing you will need is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It's a very good camera, you will need it for shooting rollers. The second thing you will need is a set and D filters. I have the one by Freewell, you can choose which one you want. But make sure uh, if you buy a pack there is ND32 and ND16 in it. They are, they are the most two important in the filters. Third thing you need is the is a very good suction arm. Uh, I have the one by MoveMax. Yeah, it's just very good, sticks on very well. I, uh, yeah, I really recommend it. Fourth thing you will need is a degreaser to apply on the panel first before sticking on the MoveMax. So yeah, now I'm going to show you how to mount the MoveMax and set up the DJI. So now we will clean the panel using a degreaser. So spray the panel. Wipe it. After that, you can take your MoveMax arm and put it on a panel. So just gent gently press the area and then push it until the red line disappears. Like that. This is a very good suction mount. It sticks on very well, but if you're not 100% sure, you can always use a strap. So now first I will show you some settings I use, so turn it on. First thing, just swipe, just swipe like that. I always film rollers in 3K, 30fps, um, but if you want to uh, slow them down later on in the video, in the editing process I mean, um, you can film them in 60fps, but I recommend 30fps for rollers. It's much smoother and it's, uh, yeah, it's better quality. And also film in 9x16, so swipe down. So swipe right. I film in manual exposure. Uh, click on it. So if you film 30 FPS, you will always have to use a shutter of 1 over 60. And if you film in 60 FPS, you will have to use a shutter of 1 over 120. Yeah, ISO, just put it like around 200, 100. Next, click on confirm. White balance, I use auto white balance. Glamour effects are off. So for color mode, I film in D-Log 10 bit. It's a very good color mode, but it requires color grading in the editing process. So if you, if you just want to film and uh, put it on Instagram or TikTok, you'll have to film in normal. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's less work, but if you want to have the quality that I put on TikTok and Instagram, you will have to color grade your footage afterwards. So then you will have to film in D-Log M10 bit. Focus mode. Put on continuous and image adjustments on default. So yeah, those are really my settings. Next, I will show you how to mount it. So to mount it, it's very easy. You just screw it like this, screw it in like this. Make sure it is tight enough so it doesn't fall off. After you mounted it, you can choose which ND filter you're gonna put on. This depends on the weather. So if it's really sunny, I suggest uh, putting on a 32 ND filter. If it's heavily clouded, put ND16 on. Yeah, for sunsets, I use ND16 or ND8. And if it's really dark, don't use an AD at all. Uh, the NDs are really easy to put on, so I'm going to show you. They are magnetic, so they just stick on like that. This is the setup I use to fill my rollers. So next, you will have to control the DJI inside the car using your phone. You will need a yeah, just a phone. It can be an iPhone, it can be an Android. Uh, and after that, download the DJI Nemo app. If it's installed, click on it. Then it will search for a device. It will find your pocket and connect to it. If it's through Wi-Fi, then just wait until it's connected. And after that, you see you can basically adjust all the settings and all the modes inside of here as well. Down here, you can control the DJI. If you want to track a car, you can select something. So as you see here, it will stay on. So that's how I fill my rollers. Also, I'll show you the setup inside the car. So right now I'm inside the car. And as you can see, if you just have a phone holder inside the car, you can just stick it in there and you can film from inside the car. What I forgot to mention is it is fairly important to have a good SD card. I have the SanDisk Extreme. So yeah, this is actually everything I use for filming rollers. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to color grade and how I edit my footage and export it. Yeah, if you just don't want to mess with that and don't want to mess with editing or color grading, you just want to film and upload to Instagram or TikTok, 
uh, you can skip this step but for you guys i will show you how i edit and how i how i color grade and do everything so the next step you'll have to do is to transfer the footage from your dji to your computer um, I always add it on my computer. You can also use CapCut, of course, uh, on your phone. I just recommend using a physical computer editing this footage. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. It is not free. Uh, you can, of course, use DaVinci Resolve or CapCut or any, od or any other apps. Uh, but I prefer using Adobe Premiere Pro. I always use it for uh, Instagram Reels or anything. It's fairly easy to use. Yeah, when you actually transferred it, you go into Premiere Pro to File new and then go to sequence and then you will have to go to settings i shoot in dslr the same frame rates that you recorded on your puppet so that should be don't use 30 just just use this this is always the frame rate when you shoot 30 don't ask me why uh, it's just always like that these are the frame sizes i use to edit in my sequence click on ok then grab your folder so I'm just going to use this one. So just drag it in there. Then you play it. So just, uh, I, I use presets for this. So I for in, just let it play. On the beat, I always set a marker that's set to M. So we have a marker here. So yeah, then out. So yeah, then drag this to your audio. Zoom it in a little bit. So you have it like this. And then open your folder again. And drag your video into it. Then you need to scroll to your whole footage to find the perfect. Yeah, so I'm gonna choose this. So same thing, I hit. And then I use O for out. Then uh, only drag, only drag the video. So yeah, just drag it. And then you see here, you have the video with the rolling. So you can always extend the video while clicking on this. Then drag it like that. Uh, you can see the video is a little, yeah, not much color into it. That's totally normal. Next thing you will have to do is go to Google and search for DJI pockets. 3 rec 709 LED. Then the first thing is going to pop up is the DJI site itself. Click on it. Then uh, when you're on Mac, click the cube. And uh, when you're on uh, Windows, click this one. So I'm just going to click it. Then it's going to download it. After that, you will have to go to your, your PC. So PC, your hard drive. Then go to Program Files, Adobe, uh, Premiere Pro, then search for Lumetri, and go to LUTs. Oh, and I put them in technical, uh, so put them in technical, and then just it's very easily drag. I'm not going to do it because it's already in there. And then just drag and drop the LUT into this folder. You already see I have the LUT right here. So after you did that, uh, close Chrome, then click on Window, then click on Lumetri Color. So here there's a whole new panel popping up. Then just click on the video, and then you see here you can change the, the look. But what we're gonna do is click on Input LUT, then click on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Uh, D-Log, Rec 709, and now you see it's much, much better. Yeah, but now it's not ready yet. What I always do is just like put the saturation a little more, a little higher, um, and yeah, make it a little warmer. Uh, I, I don't put, put too much time into color grading it. I just like do a few quick steps. Then I put the contrast a little higher up. Uh, the highlights I put down, then I put the shadows up like that just do it like how um, how it looks pretty good so now it yeah i mean it looks looks pretty good what i always do is i just make the video a little sharper so go to the project tab click on 
click on new item, adjustment layer, click on OK, then drag and drop it above there. So it sticks over all, over all the video. Then go to effects. When you don't see effects, just go to window and here you will can click effects. So click on that. Then type for unsharp. Uh, then click on unsharp mask. Search for unsharp mask. Then drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Then go to effect controls while selecting the adjustment layer. Uh, amount I always put on 30 and radius I put on 10. Now you see it's a little sharper. So yeah, that's, that is just how I edit my videos. So yeah, after that, you will have to put the in, so I, then go to the end of the clip, skip one frame back, and then go to out. So now the ins and the outs are uh, two. Then go to export. So for frame size, use 1080 by 1920. Yeah, 1080 by 1920. Use that for frame rates. Make sure it is on 29 uh, fields. Yeah, just don't mess with these settings much. Use men, use maximum. Just check those two. One just important thing I always do is I put the uh, bit rate between 30 and 50. So I'm gonna put it like at 40. You can always choose um, what you do. Yeah, that is, that is actually the only settings I use for export. Just make sure it's 1080. Uh, you can copy those then go to scale to fit and scale to fill click on that So now you don't have the black markers anymore and Yeah, next thing you do is click on export I'm not going to do it because I already have the video So then you click on export and then it's going to export it uh, When it's exported to put it on your phone uh, I always use retransfer to transfer it to my phone and then you can upload it to Instagram or TikTok. That's all the steps you will have to do. If you have any questions or you want to ask me something, you can always message me on Instagram or TikTok or you can comment uh, what you want to ask. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you maybe in the next video. Bye.